Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm going to be still continuing, you guessed it, the Mac Disney movie marathon. So, of course, this time around I decided to review something with the movies, of course, because why not? Oh yeah, more Disney related stuff. I think I need to review more movie related stuff from this company anyway. I'm a top secret agent, and it looks like I've got nothing else better, better to do. So anyway, the film I decide to review is this movie review, folks. Oh yeah, going way back. Yep, going way, way back. Which is fine by me, because, you know, I like old movies anyway, to begin with. So yeah, I'm using this as an excuse to talk about some old movies and talk about some Disney movies. Why are we at it? So, anyway, as always, let's just talk about the plot, shall we? So, with this film, folks, the story opens with the children's grandfather, whom is this well-known, accelerative officer of a trading company. He is going to settle to sell uh, some acres of this place and takes his customized 1930 type of card on the trip in brief conversation with his company's head of security the the audience will learn that the car was purchased after the uh, the, the grandfather had earned his first US 1 million his first shop is in the airport where he picks up his grandchildren and with the grandchildren, we could, of course, going to be taking a good chunk of the time. And because of the fact the grandchildren and the father, well, grandfather to be more exact, will, of course, accompany this grandfather on the trip to Seattle, of course. So, of course, traveling north from San Francisco, the trio, of course, go to this particular place for detour to the Redwood National Park where uh, the grandpa has a let's just say some things do happen there folks so there's like these small I guess you would say adventures they have here uh, so to speak so that's basically the summary of the story overall and yeah this is definitely one of the more obscure disney features it's sad, it was just sad to say because this one is actually not that bad so it does have its own little adventure charm yes the special effects may not be up to date really maybe not be the greatest but the special effects are good for what they are, of course. You just see, like, these little people, of course. And, of course, Disney's trying to make this seem come off, you know, uh, seem adventurous, of course. And the music does its job, obviously. The music really does try to capture the overall mood of the story, which in a lot of ways it does succeed in doing. So, overall, this was a rather well-crafted, you know, film. The storyline is pretty simple, but engaging in its own way. And I did like what was done here because of the fact that there's definitely a good charm here. I mean, sure, the overall premise of this movie may not be the most original film idea ever, but it is an engaging in its execution. The way it was delivered... The premise was actually really well done. So, I guess you can say this is a pretty good film for the entire family. There's nothing harmful here. There's nothing bad or anything. And, you know, I'm pretty damn sure that this film should be offensive to lots of people. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, yeah, yeah. Times had changed, folks. Times have changed. Yes, yeah, sir, folks. Folks, I'm a top secret agent and I was around since the 1900s, so I've seen a lot of stuff. So, anyway, on with the movie. Like I was saying, the special effects are quite good considering the time period it was made in. And I did like the outfits that everybody wore to give you a sense of place, and yeah, it does help to get a sense of wonder and overall feel of the story, the characters, and whatnot. 
The colors are really nicely done here, folks, and the colors are really nicely done. And so, while this may not be the most amazing Disney film ever, but it does its job correctly. It does its job what it's supposed to do. What is presented uh, to us on screen is serviceable, I guess you can say, because there's some obvious effort that's being done for this film, folks. So, yeah, this is definitely one of those films I can say that's unfortunately a bit forgotten, and I really don't know why. So, and of course, this is available on DVD, so if you don't purchase it on DVD, go ahead and just check it out. And, yeah, this is definitely better than a lot of the new Disney movies that's coming out with live action. The live action Disney movies, I, I tend to not care for, really. When it comes to the Disney live action stuff, I usually would just watch a lot of the old stuff live action stuff, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I guess, but I really don't like a lot of the new live action movies, but because of the fact that the old live action movies that tend to have more heart to it, more passion, and like I was saying, this may not be perfect, but I can tell there was a lot of effort into this, there was lots, I mean, lots and lots of effort, There's lots of effort that's been placed into this film. But the film itself does get lots of points for that, of course. It's creative in its own way, of course. And there's plenty of well-written lines that's been spoken by the actors and actresses. And usually kids are annoying in family movies for me, or any other movie for that example. For that example. But in this case, they're not that bad in this one. So everyone does their job correctly, of course. Even the sub... Supportive actors and actresses do, do I put a decent job here, folks. So, this is by no means a bad movie. So, it's really well crafted for its own way, I guess you could say. So, anyway, I thought this was a pretty solid film as a whole. This film, it gets an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. It gets a 7.1 out of 10. And, of course... As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya, oh yeah.